Welcome back. Today I want to do an update on the Junietta Locomotive Works project. In a recent video, we showed you how we installed our turntable. The track plan was drawn in Scram and later printed out at full scale. Knowing exactly what the tracks would be was important for future projects. As I discussed during the installation, being off by even half an inch would have had a huge impact on the plans. The turntable at Junietta has a concrete slab around it, so this was our first project. My son David exported the dimensions from Scram and imported them into NX. With these dimensions, he was able to draw the concrete slab for us. Next, we exported from NX to Fusion 360 so that we could create the cam so we could actually use a CNC router to route out the slab. The concrete slab was routed out of MDF material. Here are a few pictures of the process. Next, we test fitted the ring. And after we were happy with it, we went ahead and sealed it and painted it. The getting the track in the right position was important, so we 3D printed these spacers. With the yard track in the right position, we could properly index the concrete slab. The next step was probably the most difficult. We removed ties from Atlas Flex Track so that we could lay the rails into the concrete slab. From there, each of the leads had to be hand flexed into place. When we were happy with the track position, we glued the rails into the concrete slab. We repeated this process for the rest of the leads. You'll notice that two of the leads are turnouts. Fortunately, these leads come off the turntable straight and didn't need to be flexed into place. We wired and tested each track throughout the entire process. Here's a picture of all the tracks installed. With all the tracks laid, it was time to go back to the computer this time to draw the facade for the Locomotive Works building. Knowing that each track was on a four and a half inch center made the drawing quick and easy. Back to the CNC router and we had our facade finished. In future videos, I'll show you how we make the windows, doors, and brickwork for the locomotive works. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.